This can't be good. It'd be a maximum velocity here. I think it's called terminal velocity. We were so high in the air. Oh, there's the ground. No! <laughs> G'day Scrappers, Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic and we are inside my test world. As you can see, lots of weird stuff going on here. Got a flying machine and two vehiculars. Uh, I have been mucking around. Yesterday I was mucking around with an idea for a multi-speed multi vehicle um, using the various things we've learned over the time. And I came up with this design here. So there are three bearings on a pillar like this and three engines attached to them. Now my idea was to have them at different speeds and the speeds as they go up. So this one, first one would rotate the entire bar. Then this one would rotate it again, go even faster. And then this one would go faster again. Now, um, the idea is that the accumulative speed will be faster than any kind of uh, engine we have in the game right now. Issue is, there's a few issues. Uh, the the bearings can get a little bit screwy. So let's, let's, let's make it on this side and I'll show you some of my findings because they're pretty cool. So we'll go four, right? Just four like this, and we'll put four engines across. One, two, three, four. And we'll put four switches on as well. And then we can hook up the four engines. Oh, this is a bit yucky, but I think we'll make do for now. Then all we need to do is turn these up. So first engine can go two. Next engine can go like there. Next one can go up here. And next one we can go full bore. So four is really bad because... Um, I haven't hooked them up even to the bearings, so we need to do one, two, three, and four. So we'll turn this on. She spins, no worries. Second one goes even faster, I assume. Next one. And then when we turn the fourth one on, hmm, it's not too bad. I must be, actually, you know why? I don't have them up high enough. So let, let's, let's go, um... Uh, all right, four, three, two, one. Turn them up as high as possible. So two, that one can go there. And then we'll do it again. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting because yesterday I did this and things started going absolutely nuts. So let's turn all these off again. Let's put them all to full full bore. And the idea is that the, they exponentially grow in speed. Now, I need to make sure that I got these... Oh, uh, that one is going opposite direction, is it? No, everything's going the right way, so... First one, second one, third one, fourth one. Hmm. Things have been behaving differently since I last tested this yesterday, which is super weird. Super weird, but that's okay. What I can do is we can test it on an actual vehicle, because once this gets onto a vehicle, things start going pretty haywire. Well, last I tested it anyway. Then I saw... a. Uh, an image on Facebook, uh, sorry, on Facebook, on Reddit, um, of a guy who had actually come up with the exact same idea as me. Um, I'm not stealing this this idea. Like I had made this yesterday. I can even show you timestamp on the world. So um, the the guy actually just put one single engine down. Let's make a, th a third just little testing here, testing unit. Two, three. Is that three? That's three. And all he did was uh, put one single engine hooked up to all three of them like that. And is that what he did? I think he did that. Or did he have three engines? Actually, I think he might have had three engines. They all were the same speed. And he got some pretty good results out of it. Um, if you do this, actually. Let's turn this on. See if I can get this to work. See if it'll just go absolutely nuts. Mm, doesn't seem too bad. Can I get the physics to go crazy like it did yesterday? Maybe if I put something off center like this. Yeah, that's what it started doing. Which is not a good thing. So we'll turn that off. And let's try and apply this to a vehicle. Now, I made two vehicles. My idea... I actually recorded a whole video. Um, but 
everything didn't work out. I changed my mind, decided to continue doing the bulldozer. This, I believe, is our lovely contraption here. And we can turn one on, turn two on, and then three on. And that's what happens. <laughs> so let's try and get this to work fairly decent. So if we have everything the same speed like we did on the other, other one, we might be okay. One. Two. I got no steering, by the way. Three. It's not particularly great and it seems that like the slightest weight difference really does make a big impact so let's put that on there uh, I think it's just maybe the, the layout of the land <laughs> all right so we can do this now what I want to do in this episode is I want to make a very fast drag car and see if we can get like the highest amount of stability and speed out of one vehicle because I've seen a lot of vehicles around but I haven't seen very fast ones and um, while we're at it I'm actually going to jump over before we go into making the dragger and show you another design for a vehicle I've got this is a vehicle that I was um, toying with when Armitage was in my world and since then I've added a few things uh, my voice just cracked kind of weird I've added three downwards thrusters to give us that extra force onto the ground and more traction and you'll see here if we open up our connect tool that i've actually got these back wheels on um these bearings don't really need to be there to be honest uh but they're they're on um on pivots so if we get rid of this i think yeah all right so we can turn off the thrusters like this but do you see how low the vehicle then gets to the ground you know what i think we we might even be able to make this a little bit lower if we mess with the back one so uh let's turn them blue by like five degrees is that what, what ones do we want to do one and two like let's go let's go down to five like here and if you didn't know you can actually hold shift and, and increase these by one so we'll go like that now are we on the ground that's pretty, we go even more, we can go down to 20, I think. And this will be a very low vehicle. Very low to the ground. Someone actually said in the comments, could you make a drift vehicle? Sort of like a challenge, which I think is cool. And this is probably the closest thing I can make to a drift vehicle. Because it actually drifts very well on this dirt. Check it out, that is so cool. Uh, just need to make sure I, I get out the right way. Let's turn on the uh, let's turn on those downwards thrusters. See if we can get some more traction in this thing. Turn you on. Yeah, okay. She's a little bit too with those those adjustments. It just really doesn't work. So we'll turn them back up to thirty. I think it was. I believe it was thirty. And I'll show you this baby in proper action engine is actually at maximum capacity and it really does perform super well if I could get away from some of these bigger bumps on a flatter surfaces and you can do some really sick donuts and stuff and a whole heap of good fun drifting on this machine oh, it's so much fun if I actually remove the the wheels at the back I think we might even get a little bit more sliding around it's sort of like rally this is probably very good for a rally car it goes yeah it's so much fun to just drive around keeping it on the on the ground is is really a challenge with without the thrusters things just seem to go really bad but i've actually come up with an idea and i want to challenge one of my youtube friends to um pretty much setting out a course here in the dirt and have a little flat track rally and i want to use this thing as my secret weapon my my own design um it'll be a challenge not like the challenge zuljan and i did where you have a certain amount of time to just come up with a new design but they can you know i'm going to give them a warning and say look come up with a design that you think is great for using on on the dirt oh this is not too good i think we can come up with something better but anyway let's get back into the flat world and let's make ourselves a vehicle that we can get some high speeds out of back in this world now the um the thing i'm thinking is to make it like a drag car because uh, obviously the long body of a drag car is ideal to keep it in a 
keep it from spinning spinning up and backwards so we're going to have the larger wheels at the back and the smaller wheels at the front i don't know how long to make this and i'm going to make it out of wood because wood is the lightest material that we have in the game i'm thinking maybe we could just do this something along these lines and then again to go to the front where the tires will turn a small amount because if they talk if they turn heaps then things are going to be in big trouble so we'll chuck down one of these one of these actually i don't think we can even control how far we turn so that doesn't really matter so this is going to be the front of the vehicle the front of the drag car and we'll put in let's try four stages of oh, the problem with this is it should be all right we'll put four on an angle like this uh three we're gonna go four and then what i might do is just bring this back a wee bit like that you can go out of there you can go out of there so it's a very long structure We'll put a bearing on here for drive shaft one. Uh, actually, what we need to do is we need to use our technique of, of hooking up the multiple bearings. So, do I want... I want it kind of in the middle. We'll put one here. One. Two. Three. Then we need a large wheel. Like that. And then uh, one, two, three, four. So we're going for a four-speed drag car. Uh, oh, this stupid seat is actually going to be uh, not in the center. I really, really don't like that. Maybe we need to make an even width vehicle for this to be situated on. I wonder if we can maybe get some balance to be honest if i put some something over here maybe i'll put a couple of controllers down see if that counteracts the weight you know what we could do we could do a little bit of a test you know what? i'm going to do that i'm going to make a build a test this is all i've done I've, I've chucked a bearing on a platform like this we're going to put down our beautiful seat like that and let's put down a couple of controllers and see if we can get this actually evenly balanced with weight distribution so let's chuck down three for now and then all we need to do is delete that okay the seat is still too heavy simple to reconnect what oh i know why need to leave this connected to this structure up you go all right maybe that's not going to work what else can we put down that's really heavy let's have a look in here weight heavy weight metal supports are heavy weight and how big are they Let's see. Let's see how that goes. Okay, that's way too heavy. Up you go again. What if we went with a couple of these beams, which are medium weight? Actually, controllers are lightweight, so this might even work just like this with one. Okay, not enough. Let's try two. Remove this. Still too heavy. Let's try three. Still a little bit too heavy. One more, possibly. Four. Beautiful. All right, that's cool to know. So a chair evenly balanced weighs four of these pillars. Is there anything else that is sort of heavy weight that might, might be just a wee bit better? Like that. All right, let's try this then. Hook you back up there so you're nice and removed. Okay, this might actually work better for in our favor because we don't have to stack them up so high. Still a little bit too much. It's going to be four, isn't it? Okay, three just by a slight amount. Not good enough again. I think we'll go with the four four pillars, uh, four long L-beams, or is that an I? I can't tell the difference. Just for 
weight distribution. And that's probably going to mean a lot, especially in a vehicle that is going to be going super, super fast. Going to rip the guts out of it, though. Just like that. So it's basically a shell. And then... Do I want to... Yeah, I do. All right, let's, let's hook up these to this. Uh, so we got steering. Oh, I actually just removed the whole back end. All right, I'll fix that up. You peanut. Fixed all that up. To, f to start out, I think I'm just going to connect the um, entire lot array of engines to the actual driver's seat so they all will drive with w a s and d if we can actually get enough traction on this thing i'll be super happy um you know what we might even use we might use downwards thrusters after a little bit actually we'll test this out first um we're going to turn these up about to, mm, there yeah and we'll see what happens so let's remove this why is there an engine on? Which one of you is, is hooked up to... I only see three. I think it's you. It's you. Okay, so... Oh, oh yeah, I've got to... Uh, make sure all your bearings are in the right direction before you drive anywhere. Guys, why is that connected up to there? That's not right. Go away. Alright, so I seem to have messed this up pretty good. Which one of these only has one connection? That's what I need to figure out. I do believe it's you, mister. Okay. Whoa, physics are us. All right, let's see. Maybe that has something to do with all of these hitting each other like that. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, that also might have something to do with it. Alright, now we have some stable drive. Sort of. The front wheels don't work exactly very well, do they? I think, it, you know what, I think the, the best way to get higher speed out of this would be to use thrusters in one engine because this idea is not very good. Let's see, it might have something to do with these as well. Like that. It's still not really great, is it? Have I... I even got that hooked up? Nope. Not very good at this game, am I? Okay, at least they're working now. So now we've got drive, and it's not very fast at all. I mean, it's okay. But it's not very fast. Let's try just with a single engine. See if we could we could get it working as fast as possible. And use as many thrusters as possible. Oh, I want to leave these on the front though. That's okay. We can, we can leave them, put them back on. That's actually easier than probably connecting them back up. Uh, we need to remove the back tires. Like you, you and you. Uh, and you get rid of all this and all of this and we will just simply make the vehicle come out like that and we'll be putting thrusters all over this thing try and achieve maximum speed in the game so uh, that goes there that goes there and that is simply it it's going to be a rigid frame no suspension and we'll chuck on some thrusters and engines alrighty I've chucked on some thrusters and when I say some thrusters I mean a whole lot of thrusters so what do we got two four six eight ten thrusters on this drag car who are all going to be controlled by this single switch hook up hooked up to the driver's seat when hello yep cool we'll hook up this single engine which will be going to full throttle make sure they are turning the right way and you know we might even go uh, like put them on the front as well so I probably could improve the steering as well the steering on this thing is not the greatest 
we will turn you up to maximum capacity and we have the jet car oh this see it's already faster than that previous vehicle all right <laughs> okay i didn't actually hook up the switch which is fine to you okay um so there, it is prone to flipping over we might need to re rectify that maybe with some training wheels make them out a bit further but what I want to try and find is a nice stretch of road look the flat world is not exactly flat maybe I need to make a drag strip right, we'll back it up a little bit look at that maybe maybe the downwards thrusters will help us with this or maybe I'll just make a drag strip off we go okay it's not, it's not very <laughs> not very stable we'll turn that off we could we could do some training wheels on this uh like right out it in the middle for stability like all the way out here and we'll just make them little wheels we we'll use two see how that goes it's not exactly even is it maybe I should have done it just gone maximum um, get all this way you and you do the most amount of blocks we can do which is 16 pop you down oh, I want to put another wheel on there chuck another wheel on Chuck another wheel on. There and there. Oh, this could be fun. It looks stupid, but stupid works. Stupid doesn't work. It just... The track is too... You know, the ground is too uneven and, and things just really throw it off. It's actually not too bad. At least it drives. There's no way we can get maximum... We need more downforce. You know what we need? We could put some more thrusters on each side. I wonder how, how this will react. Well, this will be interesting. Like this. We'll put it like that so it's even. And then hook them up as well to our lovely switch. Like that. And like that. It works! Okay, that's the edge of the world. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Don't even bother. Just gonna fly up the edge of the, <laughs> the planet. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, I think that's going to be it for this, this episode. I've learned a few things. I've got some ideas that I also want to work on. Let's see how high this roof goes, though. Can we get up to the top? We're climbing the the world barrier. That's cool as. The downforce is created so much so that I can actually go up the wall. Oh wow, we're so high up. So high up. It's still going. You know what we think? I should just do this. Fanania! Oh, we're falling. My hair is waving. This can't be good. Be a maximum velocity here. I think it's called terminal velocity. We were so high in the air. Oh, there's the ground. No! <laughs> we hit so hard. <laughs> That we landed inside the ground. Wow, that's so much fun. Can we get out? Nope. We are stuck in here. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to end it there. Stuck in the ground. As I said, we learned a lot of things today. We were able to make the drag race. It's a bit of a weird looking vehicle. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know if you want to see more Scrap Mechanic. 
Thanks again for watching. My name is Menace. I'll see you all next time. Bye.